Hi guys, so let's look at this question here. Uh, again, a very good question. A uh, lot of concepts are involved in this question. So while solving this, we'll see, uh, see, see those concepts. Okay, so let's start. It says that x square minus 5x plus 1 by x square uh, minus 5 by x minus 4 is less than equal to 0. Now, how do you attack this question actually? So you see that it is minus 5x and minus 5 by x. Okay. That means it is x plus 1 by, if I take minus 5 common, it becomes x plus 1 by x. And already we have x square plus 1 by x square. So I can also have x I can take common from here. Okay. So that basically not common, basically I can write in x plus 1 by x form here, right? So what I can write here is, so let's say I, I'll write here x square plus 1 by x square minus 5. Then x plus 1 by x is uh, minus 4 is less than equal to 0. Now I know that. Uh, I can use this uh, x plus 1 by x whole is square is equal to x square plus 1 by x square minus 2. So x square plus 1 by x square will be x plus 1 by x whole is square minus 2 minus 5 into x plus 1 by x minus 4 is less than or equal to 0. Now I can assume that let's say I'll assume here that x plus 1 by x equal to t because it's a simple quality equation. So I'll write here. Uh, t is square now minus 2 and minus 4 will become minus 6 so t is square minus 5 t minus 6 is less than or equal to 0 so the, so here minus 6 and 1 right so it will be like minus t minus 6 into t plus 1 will be less than or equal to 0 and uh, now i can write here so roots are 6 and minus 1 so in quadratic whenever it is less than or equal to sign so roots will be lying in between those roots that means here the roots are 6 and minus 1 so I can write here t will be uh, less than equal to 6 and greater than equal to minus 1. Okay, so this is what I got from here. So I can actually uh, use this here. For example, uh, I'll just explain you. So t minus 6 into t plus 1 is less than equal to 0. The roots will be 6, roots will be 6 and minus 1. So on the number line, once you plot minus 1 and 6, you will see that is infinity minus infinity. So this is positive because if you put any value more than 6, it is positive. And then here, if you put any value more than 6, it is positive in case of in place of t, then alternate negative and positive. Okay, so negative values lies from where? From minus 1 to 6. That's what I've written here. So now basically what I can say that, so I can say now minus 1 is less than equal to x and I assumed x plus 1 by x as t. So x plus 1 by x is less than equal to 6. That's what I can write here. Okay. Now what I know that x plus 1 by x, this inequality is fine. But uh, we know that x plus 1 by x is actually x plus 1 by x. Okay. Is if it is positive, it is always greater than equal to 2. That can be proven by that can be proven by uh, AMGM also. Okay. So if you apply AMGM on x, so x and 1 by x, its arithmetic mean will always be greater than or equal to geometric mean. That means x plus 1 by x divided by 2 is greater than or equal to x into 1 by x. Okay. So you see here that this will get cancelled. Okay. So x plus 1 by x will always be greater than or equal to 2. So x plus 1 by x is always greater than or equal to 2 whenever x is positive. So, okay, I'll write here. So, let me just, uh, so I'll write here x plus 1 by x is greater than or equal to 2. That's what I got here. Fine. Now, obviously, here x plus 1 by x is, it is given that x plus 1 by x is always less than or equal to 6. It's written here. So, x plus 1 by x is less than or equal to 6. So, now, if x plus 1 by x is less than or equal to 6, I need to find the difference between the largest and smallest possible integral values of x. So if x plus 1 by x is greater than or equal to 2, 2, so here, if I say that x plus 1 by x is greater than or equal to 2, it is true for all x equal to, uh, it is true for only when x is positive. Huh. So x plus 1 by x will be 2 only at x is equal to 1, right? If you observe, so x plus 1 by x will be, it will be equal to 2. That is the smallest possible uh, value of x satisfying this equation will be x equal to 1. So x equal to 1 is the smallest possible value satisfying this condition. Similarly, x plus 1 by x is less than or equal to 6. So here, what value, what is the largest integral value x can take? So you think here, can x can take, can x, can x take 6 here? No, because if x takes 6, 
6 plus 1 by 6 will not be less than or equal to 6, right? This is not true. Can x take 5 here? So yes, x can take 5 because 5 plus 1 by 5 will be less than or equal to 6. That's true. Okay. So that basically means that the largest integral value, so x largest value is equal to 5, it can take and x smallest value is equal to 1, it can take. Okay. The difference, the difference I was asked, difference is equal to 4. 4 is the answer for this beautiful question. Okay, so that's the approach you need to find, for, need, to, need to think and solve for such questions here. Okay, thank you. Let me ask a doubt feature and this is absolutely free for everyone. So you can just download the Unacademy app. It is available in the website and app and uh, in this you can crop any, uh, you can uh, click any picture, you can crop the question part and you can submit and within four to six hours you get that solutions okay and that is mostly in the video form so you can this is absolutely free for everyone so please use this feature guys uh, you can ask up to three doubts in a go till it is clear and again you can post three doubts okay you can also uh, get solution in english or hindi depending on your preferred language so this is this feature is available in your website and your app it is absolutely free of cost for everyone. So just go uh, to Unacademy. You can post any doubt and you get a video solution by our top faculties. Okay. Thank you.